Okay, so I've got this project that I've been working on, and I've got it, you know, just about to where I'm like, hey, you know what? I can present it right now. It's going to be good. Get some testing done um, by other people who don't need to deal with all of this dev stuff. Um, so what I can do is actually I can take this and I can publish it and I can package it uh, and get it ready for other users. Now, one of the things I need to do is make sure that I change the HTML to index HTML. It just makes it easier. Uh, you can see here with my live server that it is defaulting straight to it. Um, I don't have a slash main.html or anything like that. I'm using index.html. Okay, and we're going to run a few commands in order to get this and just bundle all of this together. It's going to make it easier. And actually, we're going to use parcel, and parcel will make it so that we can host everything. Instead of using the live server, parcel will do it for us, and it'll build automatically on every save. So what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and open up a terminal window. It's got a new terminal window. We've got a bash terminal. Um, now, the way I have this, this GitHub um, repository set up is I have JavaScript projects, and I'm going to have multiple folders underneath. So one of those folders, one of these projects is SiteWords. So I'm going to go ahead and CD over to that one. Okay, now that I'm in that one, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and initialize it for NPM. Now, the first thing I need to make sure is that I got NPM installed. So I've got NPM. I do have got version 6.14.11. I'm going to go ahead and do npm init. That's going to create that base file for me. Um, you can see that I've got my package name inside the parentheses. Yes, I want that one. Sure, that'll work. Go ahead and bring in the description. Index.js. I'm actually not using index.js. I'm actually using controller.js. That's the one that I've got connected, and everything runs through there. So let's put that in there. I'm going to press enter, enter. Well, sure, I'll put my name on there. Why not? All right, and does that look good to me? And the answer is yes. We're actually gonna make one change, but we're not gonna do that right now. Okay, so it's created that file. We've got the package over here. And now I'm gonna make that change. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and I'm gonna change it to default. Uh, and the reason why is we're gonna be using parcel 2.0 uh, and it prefers it being default. So we've got that changed. I've got this set up. I'm gonna hit save. There we go. And it is set up for us. Now let's go ahead and install parcel. So we're going to go npm i parcel dash dash save dev. It's going to take just a moment to install. It's going to install a couple folders, or actually one folder um, up there. All right, now that, that is complete, you'll actually see that we have a dev dependency. So for development purposes, this is a dependency. We need this to be installed. Um, and you can see that we've got node modules and we've got 5,000 uh, changes. And that's because node modules has a lot of stuff inside there. But we don't want to upload that to Git. We don't want to track any of those changes. We really don't care about that. So we're going to create a .git ignore file. Uh, I'm on this package JSON level. And I'm going to go ahead and hit click new file. Okay, I'm going to create a .git ignore file for it. I'm going to add node underscore modules. Spelling correctly will help this. I'm going to hit save. You can see it graded out, and it'll take a little bit, but these this number will go down. Okay. Now, uh, one of the cool things about Parcel is that we can create scripts, uh, and we're going to run these scripts using npm run. And so we'll change this right here to start, and then we're going to add a little script, and that script is going to be Parcel. And because we're using index.html, that's our entry point. We'll add parcel index.html. So this will be where all of this begins. And so it's going to go through. Um, we're going to run this, and it is going to execute this command. And it's going to build us uh, a live server, its own little parcel live server um, to do on this. We actually don't need this one anymore. That's the old one. Let's go ahead and save this file. Run npm run start. That'll build for us. Built it in 716 milliseconds. And you can see it also created two new folders. Guess what? We're going to add those to the, uh, the git ignore as well. So we've got those there. And now that we have that, we actually got a new local host. So I'm going to command click on that. And there it is. So what it's done is it's created a 
distribution file. It's taken all the files, it's taken all the stuff, and it's packaged it together. Now it's not completed, right? This isn't built out completely because this is still not compressed. We'll do that in just a moment. But for the most part, it grabbed all of that and it put it together. Let's go ahead and add those two new folders to our .gitignore. I think my .gitignore file is on the wrong layer. So I'm going to drag it down here. Yes, I want to move it. Let's move it out there to the outside. And that should now, because it's now on the base level of the Git repository, it'll actually go ahead and take effect. You can see it's on the outside of these folders here. All right. So now that we got that going, we've got this set up, we've got it built, we've got this working, it's looking good. Let's go back to the package over here, and we're going to go ahead and install um, some other dependencies. Now these dependencies are specifically for making sure that we have compatibility with older browsers. Um, so we're going to install two of them uh, right now. Um, the first thing we're going to do in our terminal is we're going to close this terminal. So we're going to do Control C. That'll close that terminal, or we could also, you know, destroy it and then come back and make a new one. Um, so we've got this one. We'll make sure that we're in our correct sight words, right? We're in that project that we're working on. Um, if you've only got one root level and uh, not multiple folders, you can work from it there. But we're going to go ahead and work from it here. I'm going to go ahead and do npm i, and we're going to do core dash js. Again, these two dependencies, these two packages um, will be for our specific needs of compatibility. I'm going to add another one. You'll see that these are going to pop up right here in the dependencies. And so it's just identified in our package, hey, hey, this is important. Let's make sure that we always have this as we're working through. Okay, um, now we've got one more thing that we need to do is we're going to add a build. So when we build, we want to make sure that we give it all the instructions possible. So we're going to go ahead and give it this build task. And this will be helpful when we hook it up to Netlify. So we're going to go parcel build index.html. And we're going to give it some very specific directions. We're going to say, hey, that di distribution directory, we want you to put it exactly in this spot. All right, so now we're going ahead and save that. Now that we have this, we can actually run npm run build. It's going to build our project. It's going to take just a moment, and it's actually going to spit out, there it is, all the details for us uh, that are included and how fast it was. So we go back to our distribution. We check it out. We've got all of these here. And if I look at my index now, you'll see how compact it is. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and open up Netlify, and that's where we're going to add this to it. Um, let's go ahead, and this is all set up, ready to go. Um, I've got this down here, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this, and I'm going to push this to main, because main is going to be where I want everything to be connected to. All right, now that I've got it set up in main, let me go ahead and switch over to main. All right, so main is what we've got. We've got all these pieces. We're not really worried about those because we're not pushing them up. Um, but when we go to Netlify, We're going to click new site from Git, go to GitHub. Now I've already authorized these. You can actually go through if you need to configure more of them. I mean, click on here and says um, another organization, or you can search, right? And if you can't find it, it'll give you the configure Netlify. So it's all there. I have configured this one. There it is. I'm going to click on it. It is a private uh, GitHub, so it's kind of nice that you can have your repository private, um, but you can still connect it the way you want it to. Now, we've got our base directory. Now, if you remember, I've got this set up in a folder structure to where I've got JS projects, and then I've got site words. So I want to make sure my base directory is slash site words, because that's where I'm going. And then my distribution is going to be right here, that distribution file. 
and then the build command. That's going to be real special. So every time we add anything to main, every time we merge to main, it's going to run this command. So we're going to grab this parcel build command right here. We're going to copy that, and we're going to paste it right there. So now any time we run this, it's going to go ahead and set that up. We're going to click Deploy Site. Site deploy already in progress. It's given me a you know a cute little you know auto-generated name right here for the site. Um, you can always go into site settings um, and change that. We can see it's starting up right now. We can click on it. We can see it doing all that process, installing dependencies right there. Uh, it's going through and it's seeing what we have as the dependencies, the dev dependencies. If you used a library um, with some different functions and you want to bring those in those dependencies will be in, included. And so it would be adding all of that for us. It's pulling it in. Once it's finished, we'll actually be able to see, let's go back, site overview, and let's just click on it. And there it is, it's live. It's live with all the goodness and all the bugs and the stuff that I have. But as I fix them and I merge to main, people can come in here and they can click on and they can interact with this. And so now we can present this and we can make it public uh, for people to come visit.